Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is AOG Gaming here back with another video on this light. Um, so I recently got Isis Cecilia, so I'm just going to be using her instead of going to the gallery because it lets me see her ascension as well as other stuff. Um, so I haven't been using her a lot, so I can't, you know, vouch yet. I've been trying to use her in PvP, but I, I have her at R0 and none of her skills are skilled up, so... <laughs> It's hard to use her without the ocean set. Um, Penacea set is kind of useless on her. But um, yeah, so let, let's just go through her skills real quick and then go to her Divinate. Um, so it spells all debuffs. Sorry, all ally debuffs. Really good. Grants immunity to all allies for one turn. Also good. Heals all allies. So again, basically like Clara. So very good. Except Clara isn't really the spelling, but now she will with her Divinate. Um, second skill, Five and heals all fallen allies, 15% of target max HP, and then gives them plus 30% AP, so very good. Um, it does extend the cooldown, so it's only 6 turn cooldown, but it can go up to 11 turns, which is <laughs> ridiculous, but you know, it's the cost of uh, having revival in this game, otherwise it would have been too broken. Grants all ally shield for one turn. Shield strain is 50% of their max HP. Wait, so they gain 50% AP in total. This is a lot. Holy cow. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> That's a lot of AP. Um, Crimson's protection cooldown is not affected by other effects. If it's not a cooldown when she dies, then it's automatically cast. So very good. Um, gemstone feathers. Damage. Attacks on enemy damage 30% of attack plus 30% max HP. Restores HP, healing 100% of damage dealt. And then she has a 40% HP lead in point war knockout. So, you know, PvP, a very good PvP unit. Um, my second shimmer, actually. She's the... Yeah, the second shimmer I've gotten. So, <laughs> when it comes to legendaries, obviously. So, very good. Um, finally. I don't really use... Jane Gilu, but uh, maybe I'll use him more if I get his Divinity. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, Cecilia is pretty much the one that I have am going to be using more definitely. Um, because I have like Abigail, um, Kanji, <laughs> like I have Leon, so I have, I have tank meta. So <laughs> one, two, three, yeah, yeah, I have tank meta. So so we're fine, we're chilling, so using her will be good. Um, but anyway, I haven't really much to talk about her. I know people will talk about her being controlled, but uh, I mean, they kind of fixed it. So at the start of Bear's turn, if they are incapacitated, 100% chance of dispelling one diva from themselves. So, of course, that's Isis herself. So very good, because that was pretty much the only way to speed cleave her, was to um, kill her, control her. Um, she casts her skill, and if they have a uh, even if they have a uh, Abigail, they end up reviving her. You can still stun her and kill her. Um, so that was the way to you know completely speed cleave her. So now she has a chance to dispel hundred percent chance to dispel one diva from her. Um, uh, if she's controlled, so very good. I wish it was all debuffs. But, you know, it is what it is. Because the thing is, you can put sleep and um, con and stun and, uh, like, incapacitate. Like, you can do all these debuffs. And now it doesn't matter because she has too many incapacitations on her. She's only going to take one away. She's still controlled. So, I guess they're trying to balance it out. So, maybe that's good. I think that's fine because she has a shimmer as, as well again. Um, so, she is in the higher tier of like really broken espers and uh obviously her resonances don't help <laughs> they just make her that much more broken um yeah like, that's the thing. she gives herself speed when there's nobody a lot when an ally is dead um and then revives all wait a hundred percent ap boost on her second skill that is disgusting so yeah she does what she needs to do heal shields ap and revives that that's what all you want her to do um maybe if she had like recovery but i think they they 
to address the main issue with her, which is that she got controlled in speed cleave. Because even me, when I play against Cecilia's, I can just speed cleave them. Um, because I I just have too much stun on my team. So yeah, that's definitely a good way to make sure that she can heal your allies and do all that stuff without having to speed cleave her. Um. Yeah, that that's pretty much all I have. Like they did a good job. As always, thank you all for watching AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. It really shows your support. Helps me out, keeps you up to date my content. 121 subscribers last time I checked. So you all are amazing. Keep going. And um yeah, that's pretty much it. Um Yeah, the spell control, that's perfect. Like this, this is what Cecilia needed. As always, thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all later.